Good morning, everyone. What did you think of those bear claws? I'm fixing to get ready to show you how easy it is to put these together. It is a favorite of my husband's for a breakfast treat. Let's put these together. Okay, we're gonna start by preparing the puff pastry sheets. Now you wanna follow the directions on the back of the package to prepare these and get these ready. They come frozen. They take about 40 minutes to thaw just on your countertop or you can put them in the microwave and just follow that instruction. I'm just gonna lightly flour a work surface and we're gonna unroll it. Now it's generally folded into threes and there should be two sheets in there. So we'll work with one and put this off to the side. Now it has paper sheets that separate the folds, so just go ahead and pull those off. So what we're going to do is cut this into nine pieces. It's already, since it's folded, we're going to use the fold lines as a measuring tool here. Just going to take a sharp knife and cut down that fold line. See, I'm just going to use the other sheet to help measure, and then we're going to cut this way. And that will give you nine squares. That's how fast you can make the dough. Now, to make this even easier, we're going to be using something called almond paste. You can use an almond filling, or you could even go online to Google or Pinterest and find a quick recipe on how to make your own almond paste. But we're keeping it easy today. Now, it comes in just a log shape, and this is the box that I'm using right here. The ingredients in the paste, it's almonds, sugar, water, and then a natural enzyme to preserve it. Okay, so this was a seven ounce package. So I'm just gonna take my sharp knife, cut through the end. Okay, what we're gonna do is get about two teaspoons per square. I'm just gonna cut thin slices like that. Take one square of the pastry dough and on one side of it you're going to put the almond paste. So you want to make sure that you leave enough room that you can fold the dough over the paste. So just keep your paste when you cut it thin. Cut it in half lengthwise and then just place it on one side of your dough, leaving an edge. Okay, we're gonna start giving them that bear claw look. Go ahead and have a sheet pan ready and just line it with some parchment paper. Have a fork ready and then just have a sharp knife. What we're gonna do, you're gonna take one edge of the puff pastry, you're gonna flip it over the paste and then seal it on all edges. So take the edge, go over the paste, and seal it. You're gonna take your knife and we're going to make just four slits at the top, about half an inch apart. Now if you want to use your fork, press down and then just pull out like that. Okay, what we're doing is creating a bear paw. I'm just placing these on the baking sheet lined with parchment paper. And you just want to kind of bend them and I just kind of pinch in the middle just a little bit that way the lines that we cut kind of open up so we're going to be pushing the edges that we sealed inward like that it'll kind of open up the cut lines that we made 
Y'all, these are so fun to make. Okay, I separated an egg, and I have the egg yolk in a small bowl here, and I just put in about a teaspoon of water, blending this up really good. We're going to take a pastry brush, and then we're going to coat each one of these. You're going to wake up the house with these once they start baking and they smell them. Mmm. Almond. Yep. All right, we've got to give them some sliced almonds on the top. That's that signature look, right? Okay, I'm going to place these in my oven that's been preheating at 400 degrees for around 15 to 18 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. We still have to finish this off. While those are in the oven, I'm going to go ahead and do that last batch right here. Oh, look at those. Mm. Okay, what we're going to do is immediately move these off of the pan and put them on a cooling rack and let these cool completely. Don't those look cute? Once these cool, I'm going to show you how we're going to top these off. Okay, what I did was I took the rack that the bear claws were cooling on and I placed them into the baking sheet again and I just put some parchment underneath there. That way when we make the drizzle and pour it over them, the drizzle can land on that parchment paper and then you can just toss that easy clean up. We're going to make the drizzle. In a small bowl, I have one cup of powdered sugar, and I'm just going to use a whisk. We're going to add in about one tablespoon of milk at a time until we get to the consistency that we need. All right, let's add a little bit more. What's great about making this drizzle is that if you put too much milk, you can always add some extra powdered sugar. Just keep stirring it and pulling it up and seeing if you get to that drizzle. I'm going to give it a little flavor by adding about half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Let's drizzle these on the bear claws that we have cooled down. I want you all to look at these. Look how golden brown these are. That's what they should look like on the back side. And the almonds have toasted while they were in the oven. All right, and then just take it. And drizzle it over it. Okay, we're gonna bring the other ones over, drizzle those. And we're gonna have 18 delicious mini bear claws. Okay, I'm just going to give it like one or two minutes just to set up, and let's give these a try. Ooh, which one do I want? I get first dibs on these. You know, everyone is at the track this morning running. Gee, is it because they want to eat these? <laughs> okay, nice and golden brown on the back side, nice and golden all along, toasted almonds. It's got that almond paste on the inside. That puff pastry is going to make these flaky and delicious. Mm. You know, why go somewhere and buy bear claws? Make your own at home. Make a whole sheet of them as easy as I did. That almond paste in there, that's delicious. Mm. I hope I don't sit here and eat the whole thing in front of you guys. <laughs> okay, go get you some almond paste, some puff pastry, and build these. Surprise everyone, including yourself, because you can make these. All right, y'all, give me a thumbs up. 
comment down below what you think of my mini bear claws. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way, you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. All right. I will see you on the next episode. Mmm.